welcome back to another video so today we're doing the review of the Maserati Levante so let's not waste any time let's start the review so guys this is the key of the Maserati Levante and the key is very heavy that feels a sporty key so over here is unlock lock your boot and you have a button to turn on your lights that's a cool feature and then you have the Maserati logo. Now, let's show you the exterior, the interior, the sound of this exhaust and the engine. Let's start. So guys, before we start doing the review, you have to know a little bit of history about Maserati. So Maserati is an Italian car manufacturer. They make amazing sports car and people know Maserati because of their car sound. It sounds amazing. And then we're gonna hear the car sound and Maserati is one of the most oldest manufacturers to still build cars. We all know that they build sports car, but this is their first mid-size sports SUV and the engine is a Ferrari engine. It's been more than 100 years that the company has still built cars. Now let's show you the exterior of the car. So guys, let's start. So let's show you these LED headlamps. I'm just going to press a button on the key. You can see the LED headlights. It has a daytime running lights over here. The hazards are over here and you have the LED fog lamps. It has a chrome surround on the fog lamps. It comes with a 360 sensor and a 360 camera. So you can see there's a sensor right here, sensor right here, sensor right here. So many sensors. Because this is a 3 liter V6, it needs a lot of cooling. And it's a Ferrari engine, by the way. So intakes over here, air goes in here too, but the vertical slots in there, those open to feed air inside. And then over here, you can see the Maserati logo and the big Maserati logo over here. The diffuser, it comes with a silver finish over here for taking air in. And now let's show you the, what's under the hood. Guys, now let's show you the engine. For opening the engine, you have to do it from the driver's side. Let's go and open Guys, the engine. The car comes with keyless entry, so the key is on my pocket. There you go, the car is unlocked. For opening it, there's a button on the driver's seat right here. There you go. There's a clip right here. And then the hydraulic struts are going to do the work for you. You can see because of the price range of this car, it obviously comes with hydraulic struts. And the engine, this is a 3 liter V6 twin turbo. It's a Ferrari built engine on a Maserati car. So Ferrari and Maserati are really good friends. Like they're like brothers, both company. So that's why every single Maserati SUV like this is going to get a Ferrari engine. It comes with 275 horsepower and 600 Newton meters of torque. If you don't know what Newton meters of torque is, a Range Rover P400e gets 500 Newton meters. This gets 100 more. So guys, when you go to 0 to 60, you can need the, you need that 600 Newton meters of torque. So 0 to 60 is faster. You can see for cooling the engine, Ferrari is so smart. They made a in air intake for cooling the turbo and the air intake to cool the engine. Now get a close view of the engine. now let's show you the engine bay so you guys already got the close view of the engine you can see one two three on this side and other three to that side it has a v6 logo right here a maserati logo in stainless steel that's the way that maserati does it you can see the engine is really back for weight distribution guys the car comes with a 50 50 weight distribution that's why the engine is back and the battery of the car is in the boot so that's you get a 50 50 weight distribution so you can get more horsepower out of the car you can see the engine, it's a Maserati, it's a Ferrari engine, so that's why you can see engine is back, weight distribution. Now, let's go to the side profile. So guys, over here you can see the 21 inch Maserati wheels. These wheels are optional, so it's really big. You can see it has four wheel drive because this car needs all wheel drive and it's, it's four dicks on the four wheels. This car comes with Brembo brakes with Maserati's uh, badge. It comes with standard air suspension so you could adjust the height of the car that's we're going to show you when we go to the interior the maserati logo in shiny chrome over here the tire pressure you can see the brembo brakes with red calipers that's nice now let's show you the side profile guys over here you can see the wheels are really fat the wheel is 265 40 so wheels are really wide on the front 
all wheel drive now let's come to the side profile See? the mirrors these are blind spot monitoring and the hazards are right here it has a, a 360 camera so there's camera uh, underneath the mirror and there's a light at night that you need it now if you open the lock you can see it comes with frameless door with double glazing that's a really nice thing and it's a sports coupe slash suv so that's why it comes with frameless door you can see ground clearance is a lot it's going to be written in the description and over here really much ground clearance for bangladesh roads now let's come to the back back wheels are also 265 40 21 and now let's show you the back of the car so guys now we are at the back of the car you can see if you just press on a button over here these are led back lamps so if you guys come a little closer on the back lamps there you can see the back lamps come still your reverse light your hazards that backlight extends to the side that is also a sporty feature of this car you can see the Levante is in chrome and then Maserati it's Italian by the way the Maserati is in chrome by the way here's your windshield wiper here's your windshield washer right there this is for your brake light and the spoiler of the car for adding some sporty features of the car look the spoiler extends over here and that looks a little nice and it makes a lot of aerodynamic of the car to open the boot you have to just press this button twice it's automatic tailgate so it's going to open by itself so guys the how much cubic feet the boot size is going to be written right here if we open this this is your tools for whenever you take your car to services to service centers they are going to use these tools for the car if we just pick this up there you go there's your tire repair kit your pump and more stuff here's the battery why is the battery at the back for weight distribution this car has a 50 50 weight distribution on the car and if we close this there you go very high quality material over here you have tie down hooks so whenever you go to a grocery shopping you can just use this and not like every single car it has a rubber thing over here so you could just put your grocery over here so it doesn't dangle all over the boot a 12 volt socket over here so whenever you go on a picnic or something you could use this to put a refrigerator at your boot right there and then if you want you close it back you have a hook over here too and a light on both of the sides so guys for opening uh, the seats you have to do it from each side so it's a 40 distribution because that side doesn't open only one side opens so you have to do it inside the car so there is a little feature over here because this side doesn't open it has a little place that you can enter the boot and exit it from here if we close this you can open this side seats so there you go then there you go so if you want to fold the seats and get more cargo space only this much and the competition for this is the BMW uh, X4 and the Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe and the Porsche Cayman and this car has more uh, boot space than all of those but you can't fold the seats and this was the boot you can close the boot from here that we are going to do right now just press a button it's going to close automatically so guys if you go down on the diffuser you can see this car comes with quad exhaust two over here two over there it has a surround but the real exhaust is right there now let's listen to the exhaust So guys, now we are at the interior of this car. So, let's open my sunglass real quick. Let's show you the center console first. Over here is your gear shifter. Parking, reverse, neutral, drive, and then it has automatic drive. Here are your vehicle settings, like your traction control off, manual, ICE, sport, sport plus, and off-road. Over here is your electric parking brake. This is for raising and lowering the car, raising the car and lowering the car. This is your electric parking brake. This is the hazards. These are your drive modes. M, you have manual, you have ICE, Sport, Sport Plus, 
and off-road and attraction control off. You have shortcut buttons over here. Everything is gloss black over here. That is the trim. If you just press this, your cup holders and a cigarette lighter. It has a light too on the cigarette lighter. Close the cup holders. There you go. If you press this chrome button right here, you have more cup holders. You have one, two, three, four. You have four cup holders over here. Like, wow. And there's a charging point right here. If you want to charge your devices. And then there's an on and off switch over here. I don't know for what reason though. Let's close this. You have leather touch over here. Really comfortable armrest. Now, let's show you the infotainment system. Now, come from the back seats. So I can show you this full infotainment system. If we start the car, the start button is over here. Here's your infotainment system. You can see if you press on the Maserati logo, you can have a lot of apps. This is a touch sensitive device and you could control with the civil wheel. This is for the heated seats driver, your climate, your controls, your, you could lock the glove block, glove locks from here, your media, navigation, phone, settings, screen off and then if you press this screen on passenger seating heated seats radio if you press on climate you can see you there's a lot of more controls heated seats for both of the passengers at the front you have media control like bluetooth on this radio climate for your temperature that you could control for this real button 24 24 you can see a lot of more this is for your wind speed really good now this is for your navigation and this is for your phone like apple carplay and android auto over here you have real controls for your seat controls again so there you go there you, go. you can control various things from here you have a little slot over here for your phone and apple carplay and android auto and then it opens weirdly so if you push this it goes down and then it opens that's a weird opening strat. And then you can also control it from this. You have AC vents over here. You have a Maserati clock. That's nice. There is an air vent over here too that you can open from here. And then close it from here too. There's an air vent here. That's nice. And then wherever you touch is soft touch leather. Soft touch leather. If we open the glove box. You have decent amount of space on the glove box that you can see. You can also cool the glove box or heat it. And here's your vanity mirror. If you turn on it, there you go. Your vanity mirror is over here. Over here are the lights. And it has a panoramic sunroof too. So if I do open this, the cover is going to come off. And then if I press this, the sunroof is out. And then if I want to close it, and then if I want to open the full cover, there you go, your panoramic sunroof. So the boot opener that you want, you can open the boot button is over here. This is for the lights at the rear, to turn it and turn it on. These are your parking sensors, and then there's lights over here, and then for turning it off. It's not an Audi like you touch it and it's touch sensitive, these are real buttons. And now let's show you the steering wheel of the car. Over here is the steering wheel. You can see it's a three spoke sports steering wheel. Like look, it's full leather strapped. It's amazing to hold. You have buttons over here to control that screen and to take phone calls, your navigation and more controls and more controls over here. This is for your cruise control. Your cruise control where you're going downhill, your lane departure assist and adjust the speed for it. If we start the car, you can see the RPM, the start button is over here. So why is the start button over here? Because Maserati, they have sports car on the track. So when they drive it, they have to come in and start as quickly as possible. So let's start the car right now. There you go. The RPM meter is right there that you can control with this. You can get the meter, you can get various controls the tire pressure how low and high the car is so if i want i can control i can lower i'm lowering the car there you go 
the car is getting fully lowered there you the car is fully lowered and if i want i can hide the car too now the car is getting high up and then here's your speedo 170 miles per hour not kilometer by the way it has a maserati logo right there and a maserati logo over here too this is your rpm red lines at 4 5000 rpm you can control various thing over here your steering wheel is automatic so you can just control it from here seats are automatic with lumbar support at the front you have a maserati logo door thing over here headlight controls are over here by the way if you didn't know it's over here if you put it on off-road mode the car is going to all the way go up if you put it on sport or sport plus the car is going to go down see now you can listen to the exhaust if you put it on ICT the car is on sport suspension off and everything put it on manual you can shift manually I'm gonna put it on sport plus because I like sports mode extraction control off you can do it from here extraction control on you can use it from here various amount of controls like I really like this car for a sports SUV and here's the RPM like if I rev it there you go now let's show you the rear seats so before we do that now get a close view of the interior back seats so you can see a lot of leg room a lot of headroom you have an armrest in the middle with two cup holders there you can see there's two cup holders here and then there's the armrest really soft there you can close it you could till and uh, recline the seats you have two ac vents you have a charging socket over here and 12 volt and two charging socket for your kids on the grab handle it's really good but there's a light a reading light so at night you can need this over here the headrests are really comfortable over here you could see there's a Maserati logo stitched in the headrest and the seats are really comfortable now let's go outside and let's end the video so guys now we are at the end of the review so if you guys need any cars European cars to Japanese cars like a Bentley also you can come at here at Auto Museum if you want to get their Facebook page, it's at the description and their Instagram profile is going to be the description. If you want to buy any car, please come here and check out the showroom and the address and everything is going to be at the description. Now we're done with the review. Let's go to the close view. Peace out.